tell you that um, I had, was uh, unfamiliar with this program. You know, I was familiar with the uh, coverings. I've been there a couple years before, but I was unfamiliar with the awards program until my colleague, who's in the room, um, let me know because she was a winner in 2019. And she said, Good God, you got so many tile projects, you need to be considering this as an opportunity. And so uh, we have been doing some amazing work with uh, large quantities of Italian tile. It's some of the most beautiful materials in the planet. I've had the fortune of being in Italy many times uh, for natural stone and quarries, but also a couple years ago I had an opportunity with ceramic techniques to actually visit multiple manufacturing facilities in Italy. And it really gave me an enhanced familiarity and understanding of the capabilities of the product. So we have been using it liberally and have created some fantastic projects. So it's all been kind of preparing for this particular project. And this is currently where our office is located. And so next year, we'll submit another project where our office is relocating to. <laughs> so also with a lot of Italian. So this, um, let's see if I can advance this. This is what this project looked like only a couple years ago. And this project was built originally in 1989. It had a couple of refurbishments over time. It had uh, granite floors and wood walls and plaster uh, materials. And this was the uh, design. We actually did a design competition and um, uh, produced this concept. And then as we evolved and developed the solution, this is what it uh, resulted into. And then this is the final works. And so we had removed, you know, major portions. With the, the large stair hall, we expanded dramatically to have a, a see-through transparency from one garden, upper garden, to a lower garden. Um, you can see how this, uh, the, the grandeur of that space, this tile uh, clad on the walls, but all the pilasters in that space, we reconfigured, reconstructed, and clad those with tiles as well. And, the, um, and you can see the long views through that space. The wood that's in there um, is a part of a reclamation project. Those, there were trees, there were maple trees that were on that property a few years back that had to be removed for another development. So we salvaged all that material and then re reprocessed it and brought it back into the project in this center and core as a complement you know, to the, the wood tile that's in that space and uh, other wood solutions, but you can see the, the strength of, you know, we have uh, porcelain floor all the way through, porcelain pilasters. Uh, the detailing was just amazing with this material. Um, you can see the refinements of the terrace levels that we were able to produce with multiple gauge materials. You know, we had 20 millimeter, six millimeter, 10 millimeter materials that were used for the project. You can see it decorated in the freestanding elements um, here as well. And uh, it just, it has been so overwhelmingly positively received. I think one of the, the, the whole purposes of this exercise was to reposition the project to be uh, a more, a stronger statement in the Atlanta market. It's already recovered its leasing status on this thing and uh, it is just doing extraordinarily well. And so it is just, a, it was a fantastic opportunity and we're, um, you can see even we took it into the elevator cabs, we carried it into the, uh, you know, the ceiling details, the transition, the corners that we produced through this thing, everything. There's two miles of polished quirk corners in this project. And so the, the work by Gordy Tile and DCO was outstanding, so it was a partnership of relationships.